Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about name doubles again. I feel like I talk about name doubles a lot, but anyway, I'll link I'll link some name double videos in the description. Uh, but in this one, we're going to talk about name tuple inheritance and why I set double under slots to the empty tuple. I will also link the slots video in the description. It was also the the one I just uploaded yesterday. So <laughs> look at look at the previous video. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so we talked a little bit about name tuples before. Uh, but let's actually make a name tuple class. We're going to inherit from uh, collections.nameTuple. Again, uh, you would probably want to use typing.nameTuple, but for the sake of, the sake of discussion, we're going to be inheriting from collections.nameTuple. The advice that I'm giving today also applies to inheriting from, uh, you know, a class which inherits from the typing name tuple, but I find that that's so rare that it's not really worth explaining. Uh, but anyway, we're inheriting from collections.nameTuple here, and just for the, the, you know, showing what's going on here, I'm going to not do double under slots and show you why this is a problem. Uh, but we're going to do, you know, property uh, def, I don't know, point, which is going to, I think I have a missing parenthesis here. Yeah, I do. Cool. Uh, let's just make a property which returns a tuple of int int and returns, I don't know, self.x, self.y. This is actually a very, not a, not a good, because C is kind of a boy in itself. Uh, let's do, I don't know, area from origin, which returns an hint. And that will return self.x times self.y. Anyway, just kind of a, kind of a silly example here. Uh, import collections. So let's play with this object a little bit, or this class a little bit. Uh, Python 3 dash i. And if we make one of these, you can see we have a name tuple. Uh, and if we do c dot area from origin, you'll see that it's two. If we did you know nine times nine, nine times eight, not sure. Uh, this area from origin is seventy-two. But anyway, we have a custom property on this name tuple class. Now I haven't set double under slots to the empty tuple here, uh, but we'll show what that does in a second. And I'll show you first the reason why we don't want, or why we want this, and that is because name tuples are supposed to be immutable. So if we go here, we have c.x. Uh, immutability means that I can't change it after construction. So if we try to assign c.x to some other number, you'll notice that we get an attribute error that you can't set attributes. And the same is true for the other attribute in this object as well. We can't modify that attribute. But because we forgot to set double under slots to the empty tuple here, you can actually stuff any sort of object in here. Um, so we can set the sdfg object, uh, and that will modify this object. So it should have been immutable, but it allowed us to stuff attributes into this. And if you watch the slots video before this, this should make sense. Uh, and that's because inheritance, anytime you do inheritance, it will reset whether the class is a slots or a dictionary object, because each level of the inheritance decides whether it has slots or dictionary. And so C actually has a double interdict here. And that's where that attribute was stuffed into. Uh, I wonder what happens if we do this. Uh, okay, that doesn't change this right, because this is a property. Um, and it's going to access this property before it goes into double interdiction. This makes sense to me. <laughs> and if this doesn't make sense to you, look at the name tuple video that's in the description where I kind of describe how a name tuple works itself. But, uh, you know, c.x is actually a tuple getter property like object. But anyway, let's fix this. Let's put slots to the empty tuple here. This will say use slots, don't use double interdict, but don't add any additional attributes here. So we rerun this now and we take our same example from four. Uh, C of nine times eight, C dot area from origin, uh, we get 72. And of course, now we cannot reassign arbitrary attributes because we've reestablished slots here it doesn't allow us to stuff attributes here. But anyway, that's why you would do this, is to prevent attribute stuffing. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.